Hi Pisces, welcome to your December Singles Love Tower reading. So Pisces, we're looking at what's coming in for you regarding love as a single and see what's going on. We're going to be looking at your energy, then the energy around you. And do keep in mind, this is open to past, present, or future energy. If you're looking for new love only, I'll be doing those a little bit later on the channel. All right, Pisces. So we have the Psychic Tarot here. We're going to open up some messages from this deck, and then we'll get into your reading. But well, welcome in. Welcome in, Pisces. I hope you're all doing well. Stay safe and healthy at this time. If you are new or returning, welcome in, welcome in, and thank you. My name is Mary, and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. All right, Pisces, December Singles Love Tarot reading. Let's get you one more message. And let's see what's going on for you. Lay these out and see what we got. Two of Pentacles, movement, choices, and decisions. Two is choices, decisions, partnership, unities. Ace of Swords, triumph and success. Wonder about new beginnings. Heart Chakra, hmm, we have four. Stability Foundation. And Three of Pentacles, Recognition and Reward, which is about growth and expansion. It kind of looks like here, um, you've got one, two, three, four. It's Pisces, this is about um, progression. I feel like there's a new beginning here. So you could be right now at a crossroads. Um, well, the Two of Pentacles is kind of at a crossroads. It's also feeling up in the air. So you may be in a connection right now, which is fairly new. So maybe you're dating somebody and you feel like it's on the verge of becoming more serious. We do have growth and expansion here with the Three of Pentacles. Ace of Swords is that new beginning. You know, truth, clarity, communication, um, awakening, epiphany, aha moment, successful new beginning, all based around the heart chakra. So, Pisces, is this someone you're dating? Is this someone you're dating? We'll see. We're going to see. And if you're feeling like this is about to rise up to the next level, it kind of looks like that. Somebody may be speaking um, their truth here, coming in with clarity as well. I mean, one, two, three, four. All right. I mean, no, I know they came out backwards, but um, it's still one, two, three, four. <laughs> so... All right, Pisces, so let's take a look at your energy first. We have the eight coins, tattoo, tarot. So we're doing your reading with this deck. Let's see what's going on. And at the end, we will cl close out with some crystal angels oracle. All right, tell me about Pisces energy right now. What do we need to know? Pisces energy right now. Let's see. King of Wands. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Eight of Wands. Mm. Four of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. Oh, you got it twice here. Pisces, you got it twice. The Hierophant. Oh my gosh. I feel like right now, Pisces, this is someone you have a strong um, connection with, a strong strong chemistry attraction with knight of pentacles in reverse you sense that this connection is speeding up knight of pentacles reverse turns into the fastest knight which is the knight of swords very fast moving energy maybe out of the blue out of nowhere or just just very fast moving eight of wands same thing travel action communication um cupid's arrows but the four of pentacles is that sense of i feel like you you've sensed this person is holding back a little bit when it comes to expressing their truth, clarity and communication regarding this moving very fast into something deeper, not necessarily like they're going to say, oh my God, this is moving too fast. I can't do this, that they're ready for this to move forward in a very um, dedicated, committed kind of way. And you may sense they're feeling that, but you also sense they're holding back a little bit in coming forward with that because maybe there's a fear of maybe it's a little too early or a little too soon uh, but the Hierophant is a big level up you know that could be I don't think it's marriage or commitment but that could be well it could be commitment not necessarily marriage but that is morals traditions standards values rising up growth expansion leadership King of Wands same thing business owner entrepreneur leader creativity inspiration 
um, spirituality. Let's see, we have Leo, Taurus, two cards of Taurus here. I, I feel like you sense you know this person's holding back a little bit about expressing this becoming something solidified. But you know what's coming, Mina. I don't think it's a bad thing. I don't think it's a bad thing. All right, so let's see, Pisces. We're going to look more into your energy. I feel like you're ready for this, too. And you both have the Ace. Well, I don't want to say you both, but uh, you have the Ace of Swords twice here. So you could both be thinking the same thing, feeling the same thing. All right, so tell me more about Pisces here, about their energy. What do we need to know? Three of Cups. Yeah, this could be someone that you're currently dating. Oh, the devil. I don't like that. But let's see. Ace of Wands reversed. Six of Wands. Nine of Pentacles is a very single independent energy. And then we have the Ten of Wands reversed. I think this is a very intense, fiery, passionate connection. And you may be tempted to hold back on the passion just a little bit. Um, I don't think this person is holding back like on purpose because they're afraid of this moving forward. But you may be like, you know, this is burning a little bit out of control. We, I need to kind of rein the energy in a little bit, you know, with the fire and the passion. I mean, the devil can be that too. Lust, desire, and passion, temptation. Um, maybe, you know, you've been dating a little bit here, you know maybe three dates or maybe more and you're like tempted to give in to temptation I, I would say no wait it out a little bit more because I do think even though you may have only dated a little bit this is going to progress into something more because I do see an intense connection here and not just physically either we do have success victory there so you it's like intuitively you know you know in very single independent ten of wands reversed I mean that's about not feeling oppressed or weighed down, but also feel like there's a lot more to the story in this connection as well. Let's see, we've got Capricorn showing up here. This could be just saying maybe some of you are connected to a Capricorn. Doesn't necessarily have to mean this is a bad energy. I would like to see strength come out. That's you know what really overcomes the devil, but we'll see. All right. So tell me. For Pisces, December singles. I just see the full. So that could be happening right now for some of you. But tell me about the energy around Pisces. Like what else do we need to know about the energy around Pisces singles for December? What else do we need to know? Let's see. Nine of Swords reversed. Nine of Wands, yeah, the, that's actually good. Ten of Swords, though. Hmm. Three of Swords, what the heck? Knight of Wands, okay. Six of Cups. I felt like this was somebody new. Okay, for some of you, I don't see this person struggling with this. They're not stressed about this. They're happy with the connection. But they're fearing if you did pull back your energy a little bit, like not giving into temptation as much or whatever, or not giving into it at all, maybe waiting a little bit. I mean, it's rare in these days, but, you know, it does happen. They may be feeling like you're pulling back because you want to disconnect from the connection. And they're feeling a little bit sad about that. Because they really are fired up about moving this forward. They may be worried that you may go back to it, someone from the past. I don't know why they would think that. Because I kind of see this Knight of Wands moving into the past. So maybe some of you are still friends with, with an ex. Or somehow an ex is still in your life for some reason. Maybe there's children involved. They may be a little bit worried that... Because we're looking at the energy around you. This person's a little bit worried that you may go back to somebody else for some reason if you've kind of withdrawn a little bit or you're not giving in to the temptation even though it's there if that makes sense 
So they may be a little worried about that. But I do see that they have no fear surrounding this connection. There's no struggling involved. There's no fear, stress, or anxiety. They're, they're like 100% on board. But they're worried you're pulling back because you're going in an, another direction. When really you're just pulling back because you want it to be right and you're waiting for them to come forward and say they're ready for this to be deeper than what it is. Okay, so this is going to turn out confusing if someone just doesn't speak up or everything's just laid out on the table. All right, we do have Sagittarius showing up here. All right. Okay. Pisces. So tell me more about the energy around Pisces. Now, you can switch energies around, I guess, if that makes sense to do that as well. But anyway... Tell me more about the energy around Pisces, December love. Tell me more about the energy around Pisces, December love. The moon. Yeah, they got some fear. I don't think, yeah, star. They're, okay, let me get these all out here. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Three of Wands. Tower. It's going to be happening right now. Page of Pentacles reversed. <sighs> They're looking towards the future. They're ready for the big change to bring in that offer. I don't think they brought it in yet. Somebody here could be divorced. Um, you may be divorced, but maybe like your ex is still part of your life because of children or other reasons, or maybe just remain friends. Doesn't have to be though. But they have some fear regarding the divinely guided energy of this connection, how it's going to move forward into commitment. Because they're not, for some reason, they're feeling like there's a disconnect happening, but what they're feeling isn't exactly what's happening, but that's how they're feeling. So, Page of Pentacles reverse. So, I mean, someone just needs to come forward with that offer or kind of put it out there. I think there has to be a lot of clearing the air because I think there's a lot not being said, which is giving false presumptions on both sides. That makes sense. They're definitely looking out to the future, Three of Wands. And they're ready for the big change. We have the tower. Like I said, this could be happening right now. I mean, this is faith, hope, optimism, wish dream coming true, divinely guided energy, things meant to be, balance and healing. But they have fear of the state of the connection that they're hoping for when it's just misunderstanding of some kind. Pisces are right here. Aquarius, Aries, Capricorn. Tower could be right now. Look at, we got two threes right here. I just noticed that. Three, three. All right. We're going to do one more row of clarifiers, uh, Pisces. But if it does resonate, please do like, comment, all the good things. Be greatly, greatly appreciated. All right. One more row of clarifiers, and then we'll get some crystal angels. So tell me more for Pisces about this energy. Now, and I know a lot of people are like, how can you be dating if you're single? If you're dating and you're not in a committed relationship, you're technically still single. So I take single as someone you could be courting, dating, getting to know, a missed opportunity, a crush, uh, someone you have known, never been romantically involved with, possibly an ex, new love. All right. So tell me, tell me for Pisces more about this energy around them. What do we need to know? Page of Swords reverse. Yeah, it's all about the things that are not being said, which is causing, I think, a lot of confusion in this connection. Queen of Wands reverse. Somebody thinks that they're losing, the, like the chemistry is being lost because we have a disconnect. The King, Queen of Wands, definitely intense, fiery connection. And one's in reverse. There's some sort of imbalance here. Disconnect a little bit. There's that fool, which could be the energetic reset. Fresh, clean slate, start, new beginning, taking that leap of faith. Hermit. But there's some holding back here. About just putting it out there. 
two of wands at a crossroads. So somebody is feeling like now this connection's at a crossroads. Page of wands, but not really putting energy out there. I mean, the pages are coming out reversed, which means there has to be some sort of communication, clarity, like reverse, reverse, reversed energy here. We don't have the page of cups at all here yet, but the connection's at a crossroads. Uh, even though it's a, f and we have the two ones twice, even though it's a fairly new connection, it's still feeling like a good connection, intense connection, good chemistry, but already feeling at the crossroads. It's, you know, a lot has to be cleared up here. So we have Aquarius, Aries, Aquarius, Virgo, Sag. Sagittarius season right now in that tower can mean right now as well as the fool. Someone's going to take a leap of faith instead of holding back for the future of this connection and the direction it's going. But a lot is not being said or done, which is not helping anything here, if that makes sense. All right, let's see. Five of Pentacles. So feeling lack loneliness, probably for no reason. Justice. There's something here about an ex or a divorce. Someone's worried about that, but I don't think it's a problem. But Empress. I thought we had the Emperor here. No, we didn't. Okay. Five of Cups. Sadness, loss, loneliness. Thinking about this Empress. Thinking about you. You are the wish fulfillment, happiness, and joy. And this love wanting it to blossom into more. The judgment has to be made here. I think there's false presumptions as well. Overjudging. But there's a strong connection, like I said. The lovers. The lovers, the lovers. And it's feeling stuck right now. I mean, we do have the chariot reversed. Right? The world. The new cycle here is right at hand. There is a lot of emotions being hidden, feelings. Somebody's worried that maybe it's done. Seven of Pentacles, though, needs to get up and take action instead of just thinking. Oh, boy. So, wow, there needs to be a lot of clearing of the air here, Pisces, because there's a really good connection here. There's just a lot of um, assuming false presumptions it's just, just even though it's fairly new there has to be a lot of communication and clarity on both sides definitely before this is ruined before it, it even begins and becomes the strong connection it's meant to be i mean i would have liked to see like the strength card i mean i'm not really going to dig for it here um but let's see what the crystal angels have to say this is leo Chris, Taurus, scorpio by the way the new cycle is right at hand right at hand all right pisces so let's see what the crystal angels have to say also everything you do need to know is down below pisces so you can check it out if you would like to lots and lots down there probably answer all your questions all right crystal angels for pisces for the singles what do they need to know hermit is a single energy as well so let's see Make time for self-care. Taking care of yourself is essential right now. There's just a lot of... <sighs> worrying about oneself right now and not really communicating. Life lessons. You can break free from reoccurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson, blessing they contain. So if this was like never speaking up in an early connection and then just letting it dissipate because we didn't speak up that could be the lesson right there we do have pink here for new love love life new or renewed romantic love is here for you so yeah this love is right here it's here it's now as well be gentle with yourself rotocrosite you've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover as well so i mean Oh, I didn't really get there's anything here about, uh, you know, just be gentle on yourself. Don't overthink things. It just needs to clear the air here. Definitely here. I just, however this resonates, definitely what I feel. I mean, there's a heart connection right there. 
I mean, the truth of clarity right there with the Ace of Swords, definitely here. So this can grow and expand instead of feeling everything's just all up in the air with that Two of Pentacles right there. This can progress. It will progress. It's all about clarity, communication, setting the record straight, and not leaving things floating up in the air that leave um, false presumptions. And, you know, that's not going to go well. All right, well, I hope that made some sort of sense, Pisces, but that's what I have for you, so I do hope that helped that resonate. Again, everything you need is below. I am wishing you the best, and I shall see you next time.